You installed your brand new WordPress site and now the tedious work starts that is you have to install some plugins. And usually you have to do it one by one by going plugins, add new, search for a plugin and install it. Since I'm the lazy person here, I don't like to do it one by one. Therefore in this video I'm gonna show you how to install your plugins in bulk. That means here's my list of favorite plugins. I'm gonna select the ones I need for this site. I'm gonna click on install. Then I'm gonna click on activate and boom done. Six plugins installed within 20 seconds. It's a fairly simple solution so if you're interested then jump in. Now I'm gonna show you two ways how to bulk install your favorite plugins in WordPress. First method means that you're gonna go to the wordpress.org and you're gonna make your a, account here. If you already have an account then log in. If you're already logged in then go and find your favorite plugins. I'm gonna search for WP Vivid which is my favorite plugin for migration, backup and staging. Open the plugin up and then you'll see this icon here. If it's red then it means it's already added to the favorites. If it's gray then it's not added to the favorites. Just click on it and now it's in your list. If you would like to remove it then just click one more time and it's gone. If you would like to see what plugins are added to your favorites then just open up the favorites tab here and all those plugins are the one you have added to the favorites. Now let's go back to the site and let's go to the plugins, add new and there is a tab called favorites here. Click on it and inside this input enter your username and then press on get favorites button. And as you see all the plugins you have added to the favorites list are displayed here. Just click on install and you're good to go. And now activate and activate one more time. Now if you go to the favorites then you don't have to enter your own username here. Let's test. For example I don't know what plugin this is but if I scroll down I see the author name. I assume that this one here is the author's username. I'm gonna add it here, get favorites just to test it out and what do you know? This guy has four favorites. Basically if you know the username for a WordPress user then just add it here. Maybe your friend has one and he or she would like to share the plugins and go ahead and test it this way. So this was the first method how to install your favorite plugins. This is my preferred method. There is also a second method and that means let's go to the plugins, add new and let's search for WP Favs, this one here. WP Favs plugin manager, let's install it and activate it. Now once again two different ways how to handle it. Open up tools, WP Favs. And now there are three inputs for you. First WordPress username, once again enter your own username here and click on load favorites. Next run this list. And this is a list of the plugins you have added to the favorites. Select the ones you would like to install. Click on install. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. Next go to the installer. Open up to activate. Select the ones you installed and activate. This is the first method. Second one is that you go to the WP Favs site. Register here. Now there is an option to create your own lists here. As you see, no favorites yet, so let's click on new WP Fav. Sometimes a site may be a bit slow, so be prepared. Give the title to your list, for example, Essentials. If you would like, then give it a description. You can set the list to be private or shared. I would like it to be private, so I'm going to select this one here. Now search for a plugin, for example, Cadence Blocks. WooCommerce. Sometimes it gives you a bunch of options you have to scroll through. So I chose those two. I'm going to select save. And now what I have to do is I have to go to the my WP Favs and there is a my API key. Copy this one. Go to the WP Favs settings. Enter your API key here. 
press on get WP files button and then it will load all your list if there are more than one then, then all the lists are added here so let's test it out by adding another list here for example list called WooCommerce let's add some plugins I'm gonna just add three random plugins save it now to refresh my list I'm gonna click one more time on get WP files button here and as you see both of my lists are displayed if I would like to install plugins from this list then I'm gonna click on this button otherwise on this button there is one more option as you see there is a quick key input what will it do basically if you go to your lists click to copy the key you're gonna grab this key here paste it here quick load and then it will load only this list I don't use it because most of the time it's a hit and miss for example let's grab this key here paste it quick load and as you see it didn't work sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so as I said hit and miss I don't use it and my preferred method is to go to the plugins add new and use this favorite option here now if you're gonna use the WP fabs then you'll see that if you click on new WP fab there is a custom plugins and code kind of plugins option this is only for premium account so if you open it up you'll see that it costs you six dollars per month if you're interested then you can sign up over there other than that you show that installing your favorite plugins in bulk is really simple just use your own WordPress account or WP fabs account now before you go Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.